Hello everyone and welcome back to coverage of Grand Prix Toledo. I'm Caillou and I'm joined on the mic by Dr. Batman like last time and we're going to be commentating this round one match between Canterbury Egg and Dodger. Both these players are on kind of meme lists. Uh, Egg is on um, Endless Helpless Parrots which is using the new uh, Coco variant Endless Helpless Souls along with Parrot Pools. Uh, to essentially make uh, a multicolored matters kind of explosive mid-range deck. It's kind of hard to describe how it works, honestly. And the real answer is that it's just kind of uh, explosive fun with a bunch of multicolored spells. On the other end of the table, you have Dodger, who's playing a similarly meme list, which is Sultai Tempo, but uh, ensuring that it meets the first made condition for Holcomb of the Peregrine. So essentially, uh, Holcomb makes it so that you can only have uh, two copies of each non-land card, but in exchange makes it uh, so that you essentially draw a card uh, whenever you cast a spell with the same name as another card in your graveyard. So is it really worth it here? Not certain, especially given that uh, Dodger doesn't have cards like Against the Waves, which actually, because of Make, shuffle themselves into the library. But... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this kind of pans out. Uh, so far, Egg, I believe, was on a multi-5. Kind of, uh, is probably going to try and play out the 10 to the Grove here. Um, I don't think Dodger cares too much about this, but whatever uh, Egg cascades into could be a problem. Looks like it's going to be a Solar Flare. Uh, Dodger's just going to take it. Not going to waste the Portal Fracture on it for now. Um, but Egg could get there with Burn is the hilarious part, because Solar Flare has two Ignition Points in hand. What do you think? Uh, yeah, Egg's definitely on the more aggressive of these two lists. He's got a lot of... He's got a full force solar flare, full four... Oh, three ignition point, and three feller charm, which is actually another burn spell deal. One of the modes on it is deal three damage to any target. On top of that, they're loaded up on two drops besides their uh, four endless helpless souls and four tend to the grove. So that plus the parrot pools is going to... They're really trying to really trying to end the match before Dodger can start grinding out any all of their uh in hand advantage. Yeah. For now, Dodger's gonna swing in with the Panya. But Panya's kind of a slow clock on her own until until you get to play your tail. So and of course Egg also does have double removal spell for Panya if stuff gets really dicey, but I think for now you can kinda just you can play bootleg burn for now and just go face. Okay, oh yeah, all, okay. Oh, and another burn spell off the top. Yeah, source DK. Yeah, I think at this point you just kind of go full bootleg burn. Okay, he's going to source DK. It looks like that's the plan. Yep, resolves. Source DK is an incredibly fun card. I actually almost forgot it existed, but um, uh, I had a lot of fun playing with it in uh, Love Song Limited, where it is kind of a house. Because if you have some good evasive creatures, um, or just a bunch of tokens, you can really start looping this uh, again and again and like break through uh, semi-board stalls to burn your opponent out. Because like, even if you're losing two and creatures Dodger... each attack, it's like you, if you can like sacrifice a third and get it back, you're up on or like you're up on value. But yeah, sorry, go ahead. Dodger, yeah, Dodger rips a bitter duckling, which is gonna turn into a really big enabler for his Holcomb, as well as just it's gonna become a scary threat because it'll become a three-three that also mills ten. I believe it mills ten. Night song that mills swan. seven. Yep. Uh, this is also a Dodger designed card, so it'll be pretty fun if he actually manages to win with it. Um. Once he gets his graveyard stocked up, that whole comb is going to be a 3-3 Vigilance body that's also drawing you a card on every removal spell you cast, basically. Yeah. I think the main thing here is that it just comes down to can um, can Dodger like out, like out clock before Egg can burn? Because, like, I think the thing is, like, if, like, if Egg is, like, forced to be to start pointing these ignition points at creatures, I think that, like, Egg can't win that value race. Like, yeah, he's gassing out really hard right now. Especially with the multi five, so... Dodger's gonna play an Anishtu, which is also a... Oh, wait, no. 
Yeah, I think those are those are going to be milled off sure Bitter Duckling, on. but apparently they're rewinding. I'm assuming because Egg wants to ignition point the Bitter Duckling in response. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, the problem is now Egg yeah, is commi- like... Yeah, I think that this is maybe not a misplay, but I think that like, because like Bitter Duckling is really scary, but also like, I think with that attempt, I feel like Egg has kind of just given up the game, because now you're like one burn spell down. Dodger, like, you didn't actually manage to answer Dodger's threat. Um, you can't swing in with your tokens because Dodger can block them and trade. You're flooded out and you and you only have one more spell. And unlike Dodger, doesn't have grave flow value. Technically source DK, but then you can't recur the source DK. So I think that this is pretty cleanly a losing proposition for Egg. Yeah, looking at Egg's list, he really only has those four endless help of souls and the four ten to the grove to generate advantage because parrot pools you need three creatures to connect before you can draw one card and that's when your opponent's on a grindy bug list that's really not going to cut it mm-hmm. can egg can ignition point the bitter duckling uh on end or not on end sorry before dodger untaps which is not the worst because then all you have to contend with is Panya plus the scouts. And while that is scary, Panya is still just a 1-1 one, one until Dodger hits a fifth land. Oh, but Egg is just going to pass. I wonder, I feel like letting Dodger untap and potentially having interaction is not the move. And Dodger actually is going to top deck the interaction, cursory glance coming down. I guess the idea is you want to force Dodger to run out interaction now, uh, potentially. And then like... Uh, on your turn, you can resolve something, but it's not like Egg has a relevant spell in hand to resolve. So, Dodger gonna mill. We could get... probably no, and Egg just not playing uh, in a sort of protracted state. I think we can maybe talk about Holcomb, sort of explain how the first mate mechanic works for those who might not know. That is true. So, first mate is basically a fixed companion. Um, like once you've resolved Mulligans before you start the game. You swap out. Uh, you swap it out from your sideboard into your hand, uh, as long as you meet the condition. And the condition is pretty simple. You uh, instead of a f- uh, four cards of the same name limit, Holko makes it that you have a two card of the same name limit. So, and actually, uh, he requires exactly two. So you have to play besides oh, yeah, you your can... lands, unique two pairs. Oh yeah, that's like. That's a little bit annoying as well if you wanted to like maybe play like some tutor packages. You can't have silver bullets. Or like you can't have silver bullets in the same one of way that you sometimes yeah. want. Um Oh yeah, but on Egg's end does get one of the titular cards, parrot pools. Um I, I think if you're egg you just have to run it, play the parrot pools, play the ignition point, kill the bitter duckling. You've already given up trying to play an aggressive game, you now have to try and play interactive. So yeah, and if it weren't for that cursory glance... Oh, not going to cursory glance the parrot pools. Interesting. That's definitely a choice. Oh, because he's pelt welting it. Mm-hmm. And now, even if Egg tries to ignition point in response, that just gets cursory glanced. But uh, Will does still get the parrot pools uh, trigger. So yeah, protracted stack war, but uh, Egg ends up with the bird. The bird is relevant because it means that Dodger can't just swing in with Panya. Uh, at least until tail activates. Though rift splicing can just kill it. It's a little bit scuffed, but it works. Dodger gets a land off the top. That puts him at five. And these Wayfarer Shrines are copies of Mirgate currently. Yeah, so we won't actually be able they're... to immediately do it. Yeah, and for those uninitiated, Mirgate is basically a land that functions as anti-land tech, it, but in like a fun way and not in a ghost quarter way. When it as it enters the battlefield, it names a land, and every land with that name enters the battlefield as a copy of it, which is a tap land that can produce any type of mana that a land you control could produce. Yeah, also these and, also uh, these motherfuckers are drawing arrows for no reason, and I hate them. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, Dodger Ooh. binning the Reveal Eternities. So, this is one of the new cards from New Horizons that was just added to the format. Um... And instant speed strategic planning with flashback, pretty not bad. Um, pretty really good. Yep. And I'm surprised Dodger didn't play out the Holcomb uh, there last turn. Maybe he wanted to pretend to have interaction, but um, now does have reveal eternities up. 
but doesn't have any interaction to stop Egg from just fell or charming to kill the Night Song Swan. Yeah. There it is. Very kind of a, a really fortunate top deck from Egg. And again, I think that if Egg had kept to the burn plan, look at that. Has three burn spells that if pointed at face, Dodger would be at four life right now. And Egg could start playing a little bit aggressively with these birds. Or like with these tokens slash bird. But yeah. Oh yeah, okay, it's just gonna go for it. It's gonna swing three. And then it can probably has four mana to be able to recur the uh, source DK. So double block and then rift splicing on the bird. Not going to let egg recur the source DK. And doesn't want to trade off the Panya either because that becomes a five power Uh. clocker next turn. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it becomes a five power clocker once because it can only extra turn once. Mm Mm-hmm. So yeah, both players kind of empty handed except Dodger has the whole comb. Uh, and that's a monkey shines, and and also has the reveal eternities. So, so Panya coming down, gonna swing for one now, then bust in for another five next turn. On on the end of Daughter's first turn, Egg is tapping the Nebula for some reason. I have, I have no clue what that's about. Um, another land, which means that hmm, I feel like if you're Daughter, you can play the monkey. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say you can play the monkey shines. And then worst comes to worst, you have uh, the Reveal of Eternities in Grave. Otherwise, you can just play Holcomb. You have, like, a lot of options here. And I think we might be seeing why Holcomb isn't so popular, because you, when you're playing a grindy interactive deck, you really don't have a ton of time to just run out a, a three-drop that can sometimes draw you cards. Yeah, and also just, like, you're, you're giving up so much consistency. But yeah, yeah, I think that Holcomb with uh, make cards could be really interesting, though. But that's a different deck than this one. So absolutely, Dodger can run the Initiative from the Monkey Shines, is. and then Holcomb from uh, the Hand. So again, Initiative will immediately flip on Upkeep. So Egg needs a removal spell off this Ten to the Grove. And what's he gonna flip? Fe- oh my God, the Feller Charm is. again! Feller Charm for the Initiative. And again, they, thinking about burn, Dodger would be on one if Egg could point these removal spells at face. Egg has really been drawing quite uniquely for how his deck's laid out. He's drawn almost all of his burn and none of his gas, mm-hmm. none of his like. Creature oh, and, pressure. and Dodger just top decks another Anishtu. And this time, because of Holcomb, and that gets, gets him a Kandra. card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the, oh, 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 and the. Oh my god, and the Whisperwoods. I mean. What does you know? Sometimes wait, the Dodger, player do, just Dodger, wins. Yeah, Dodger can <laughs> shut the fuck up. Dodger can uh, whisper woods <laughs> here, get back Denethra Muck Bruiser, uh, cast that cantrip. That seems like a pretty not bad play. And Denethra is gonna be Denethra is gonna be huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Seven I almost feel, I almost feel like you can just you can, okay. Dodger isn't gonna do that, and Dodger's gonna make the good play, which is keep up whisper woods plus an interaction spell, but like. Also, I think that if you're Egg, you probably just concede here. Yeah. And there it is. And so. Yeah, they just it just came down to... It really, I think, it as soon as Egg decided that he wanted to play reactive and tried to kill the Bitter Duckling, the entire... like, I think the game was kind of lost there. Because at that moment, Egg committed to kind of trying to outgrind... Uh, dodger's plan and it just didn't end up paying out instead of just going for the throat but not not to say that going for the throat would have also worked i think that like it's definitely was an uphill battle uh but i think that's when the, there was a real shift in the tempo but yeah and uh, so you want to talk about sideboard? sideboards yeah yeah uh, dodgers i don't know if they have a ton well they actually they can board in spell pierces and that's good because you know, Egg's only on 12 creatures, so that means he's hitting most of what Egg can run out. And Spell Pierce on a tapped out, like, Endless Helpless Souls is just good backbreaking. Very true. I also think that this is a Noxious Upwelling matchup, just because uh, the tokens from Parrot Pools, you, you, you want to have ways to just dome them. It's also a, definitely a stand unassailable matchup, because... Like, Egg's deck is basically bootleg burn, so you very much do not mind. I think, I don't know how much uh, Dodger values Holcomb yeah. here, because Dodger could just bring in four stand uh, and then call it a day. But also, like, I think that 
Dodger has enough interaction that doesn't need to bring in the full cohort of stands, could still Hulk home bit. Um, As for Egg, um, Soulgate might be good? I think Soulgate's very good. It's a... Because you can turn off lots I mean, of Dodgers win cons, like, for relatively free. But, I, I mean, you do want to be kind of aggressive, so it's hard to say. Silent Hypnotist, I think, gets yeah. way worse when, like, like Dodgers very deck building makes Silent Hypnotist worse. Um, yeah. You'll never be able to name anything and have it work out mm-hmm. 90% of the time. I don't hate... I don't hate Thought Blossom or Pitbull here. Dodger has 20 main deck uh, instants. Uh, or sorry, we're counting sorceries. Dodger has 26 targets for Thought Blossom. Um, and Pitbull just kills just... all of Dodger's win cons. So I could see bringing some of these in. If... Snatching... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Snatching some kind of uh, card advantage piece from Dodger to just hopefully try and gas up might be good enough. Yeah, and I think that like... If Egg continues to commit to the interactive style of play that we saw in uh, in game one, these will likely come in. If Egg is like, actually, how I played that was kind of wrong and that's why I lost, I want to actually be more aggressive and in your face, then I don't know if, if we'll see these uh, over just the main deck plan. Yeah, and let's check it out. Frankly, frankly, I have no clue how I would board for either of these decks in this situation. For Dodgers, I think I, I feel pretty comfortable with just four stand, two, uh, two noxious upwelling, forget Holcomb, you just overwhelm them. I think that that feels like relatively straightforward. Egg is, I think, kind of weird because like, yeah, are you forced into, like, it's just saying, are you forced into an interactive game plan? Not sure. I guess that's true. Dodger so It looks like Dodger is... is bringing in Holcomb, yeah. So didn't cite in all four stand and assailables. Meanwhile, we don't have any indication of siding from uh, Egg's hand. On the play, probably can go Cognitive Fumigator into Herald of... U- into Or maybe turn two Parrot Pools into the rest of the stuff. Because that Ooh, way... How much is he going to pay the Nebula? Oh, Come I on, mean... show me five. Show me five. Boo. Wow, after all of the memes, you're really not going to go all the way on this. Okay, Dodger, interestingly, is going to play out the Shifting Glade here. Um... I think that playing the Grim Bastion here also has value if uh, if you're thinking of Rift Splicing something instead. But you can also still... I think the Shifting Glade gives you the ability to just Cosmic Sinkhole. So, yeah, this Parrot Pools is not resolving. Getting Cosmic Sinkhole. No birds. Still, uh, Endless Help of Souls top deck from Egg will uh, hopefully allow um, the ability to dig for another one. Yeah, Dodger has no more counter spells in hand. Yeah, which is why I, I I wonder if Dodger should have untapped Pithwilted, but then I guess you're still, like, that way you're, like, I guess the idea is that, like, you don't really get that many opportunities to use Cosmic Sinkhole, so might as well just maximize it and just have this way, even if you don't have interaction, like, counterspell interaction, you can still reveal eternities on end. So Cognitive, Cognitive Fumigator, Fumigator for perfect information. I mean, I think that when this enters the battlefield, what you do is, in response... To the ETB, you rift splicing it. Ooh, that's mean. Yeah, I think I think that is hundred percent the play. Oh my god, Dodger's gonna do it. Oh, oh, that's actually so filthy. Also, the this... singularity is being <laughs> constructed. Oh my god. Okay, yep, rift splicing coming down is gonna kill a cognitive fumigator and aetherize it, which basically means that uh, you make a token and immediately exile it, so it's just there for stealing ETB and LTB abilities. Um, it's a really cool way of essentially turning in Flicker into a mechanic while also making it so that it doesn't anti-synergize with plus one, plus one counters, uh, auras, etc. So very cool set. Should definitely check it out. But yeah, Rift Splicings and takes Rift. out the Endless Helpless Souls. And now Egg is basically just left with a Herald of Unity, which is pretty easy for Dodger to kill with uh, the Pith Bolt. And then Egg is out of gas. While Dodger has Monkey Shines, Reveal Eternities, and Holcomb. Yeah, there's no good take here. Yeah, like, what do you... Like, do you just take Holcomb? And then, no, okay, takes the Reveal Eternities. Take I guess Reveal Eternities. Yeah, I was thinking take Holcomb because Holcomb's Dodger's only win con. So you can just kind of hope, like, hey, if Dodger doesn't draw anything to actually pressure me with, maybe I can recover. But yeah, I can also see taking the... Oh, that all happened on Egg's turn, so Dodger gets to untap now. I mean, I think if you're Dodger... Oh, that's so brutal. 
Yeah, I think if you're Dodger, do you just run out the bitter duckling here? Like, you know Egg's hand, so you know that Egg doesn't have, like, any interaction. Looks like he's gonna, he's gonna monkey shines first. Okay. That makes sense, because you want to see if you can draw another interaction spell. Yeah, Dodger, you kind of feel like you have all the time in the world. So Mill's a portal, portal fracture in the watch from above and gets the Whisperwood exploration. Uh, is one off from immediately flipping Bitter Duckling, kind of terrifyingly. Dodger's think I think Dodger so wants to just play the Bitter Duckling, I think. Yeah, he's just going to do it. And he's doing it. On end, Mill's, oh, Whisperwood exploration, the second, which is relevant for Holcomb. And also shows that uh, he sided in the noxious upwellings as well. Uh, an egg flooding out just like last Oof. game. I mean, I think at this point, if you're, if you're egg, like, what can you do? Hate to see it. Yeah, this is... A true tragedy. And he runs out the Herald of Unity, it looks like. Yeah, and... Oh man, the one the one three. I mean, I don't think egg has any two-point uh, burn, so you can just block with the bitter duckling. Dodger probably checking the list to just make sure and see if uh, Egg has any two-point burn rather than three-point burn. Yep, so it just, can just freely block with the Bitter Duckling. Rough spot. Yep, so now Dodger can just play Nomad's Township um, next turn, and then hold up Pitwold plus Whisperwood's Exploration. Next turn can play Holcomb plus... Uh, or you can just play Holcomb now. And then, yeah. Playing Holcomb now feels a little greedy, but you could definitely do it and then... Just that way, have more damage on board for next turn. Especially since you kind of don't want to yeah, play Whisperwoods on end here. Yeah, Bitter Duckling gonna swing in for two, and on end. And it's gonna flip, and once once it flips, it's gonna start milling seven and casting an instant sorcery every upkeep. Yeah, is it even instant sorcery? I thought I, or is it just every yeah. any type? Oh, okay. I think uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, mill okay, seven. Okay, yeah, okay. I think it used to. Then be... you may cast an instant or sorcery. I think it used to be any type, which is why I'm remembering it that way. Okay. Mm, that... Yeah, it, it was backbreaking. Okay, so... Um... Source DK is not the targeted burn that Egg needs here. It does let Herald of Unity swing for Oof. three, so can get a five-point life swing here. Of course, I think I, I think Dodger in that case just pith welts to kill the Herald of Unity immediately. Also, or Dodger can Whisperwood Exploration back uh, a portal... Not a portal, no, actually, Portal Fracture doesn't do anything here. Never mind, yeah. So you, you you just let this resolve, and then you pitwilt the Herald of Unity when it comes in to attack you. See, so yep, pitwilt coming down. There it is. And then next turn, if you're Dodger, you probably just Holcomb, hold up Whisperwood's Exploration. Feel very good about your life. On upkeep, Night Song Son is going to mill. It, or, or actually, this is definitely a situation where Dodger has so much mana that you don't know what to do with it. Also confirms the Spell Pierce bring in, so good call. Um, I guess could cast Rift Splicing. Just to clear up the board a little bit more. I could also see Noxious Upwelling, actually in the same vein. You just you just don't reverberate it. And then that puts you off being able to play Holcomb this turn, so I'm a little low. And and obviously like the uh like monkey shines is a decent choice as well. But no, okay, it goes with the with the with the first intuition. It's just gonna rift splicing and kill one of the tokens. And off the top he pulls. Ooh, a scuttling net. I mean why not just faster clock? Yeah, yeah. So scuttling that you, you'll you'll notice a like, this is like the third threat in this deck that, uh, flips based on number of cards in your graveyard. So, there's definitely a trend in MSEM design. But yeah, this is essentially the format of Delver, because it flips into a four. It's protection with from dragons. Yeah, I don't know the protection from dragons is relevant here, but it is certainly one that's uh, like a line of text that is weirdly relevant in other matchups. But yeah. I believe I've heard stories of that line of text winning the game in the first GP it was legal in. Yeah, because of uh, Tomb and other decks like that that used to exist. Also, uh, Tyrant of Tributes is a relevant one. Egg finally top decking that um, burn spell, but is it too little too late? Um, can kill the Nightsong Swan, but then Scuttling Net still exists as a clock, um, and Dodger still has Holcomb value. But I mean, you you have to try and kill uh, the Night Song Swan. There's really like if you don't kill Night Song Swan, you just lose on value. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a position of playing not to lose and just hoping somehow top deck into the right sequence of cards to drag yourself back in. 
I mean, an endless yeah. helpless souls off the top would be very good. Yeah, endless helpless souls into parrot pools plus something else. Then you're cooking. Actually, endless helpless souls into double parrot pools. That's the real cookery. Oh baby. Yeah, on end. Doctor just gonna fetch. I don't. Oh, he's gonna cast a whisper with exploration. I'm actually a little surprised by this. Though I guess at this point, okay. And there's pitbull number two in graveyard. Oh, it can it's buy back, back Panya. And then cast Panya. And then, oh, okay. That's actually, I now I see why Dodger did, did this. Just immediately going for the throat because uh, swings for eight into uh, swinging for um, uh, swinging for 13. So it just kill Egg. But Egg has a solar flare, runs it out of the Panya. But this means that Night Song Swan is still free to reign. And now Vicious Metamorph flips. So now we've got a 3-3 three, three and a 4-3 flyer. I mean, at this point, do you just hope to stall until mills. Dodger mills themselves? Like, Dodger does yeah, build himself in Night Song Swan. Night Song, Night Song Swan also has the Lamb Man text on it. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just assuming that, like, you mill yourself a bunch and then Egg has the ability to kill it, you know? Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Hoping for Burnout at the top to get him in between upkeep and draw. So Dodger's going to recast the Whisper Woods. Um, I mean, do you just grab back Panya once more? Like, I could see that being correct. I could also see just grabbing back Interaction. No, it doesn't have a cursory glance. Yeah. So, uh, Your opponent's drawing usually one card off the top. Just getting back a single piece of Interaction to stop them for a turn gets you the game in most positions yeah it's but i guess I, yeah i guess that the reason for the panya is just doesn't have um doesn't have a cursory glance and portal fracture is dead here so it doesn't actually have any live stack interaction so you probably think you yeah you, you, you swing for seven you play spore flow protector and then you can hold up panya and then just call it a day it's not like egg has wipes so yep spore flow protector coming down and what's the top deck that's another land. That's Oof. game. Is egg? I mean, egg can try and swing in with the servo, but then like, yeah, you just lose. You you know you lose because of the pot known information. So, I'm assuming a concession from egg here, unless I'm missing something. Oh, I guess passes, like hoping to bait Dodger into not playing Panya, but then again, Dodger can just loop Whisperwood's explorations to. What do you even grab here? I can't imagine. I mean, it does. It doesn't matter. You don't actually, because you're not actually going to be casting anything this turn, or like you're not going to be casting the Night Song Swan uh, thing this turn, because you want all five mana to be able to Panya. Oh no, Dodger is going to play something. Oh my god. Okay, he's just going to play another Whisperwood's Exploration. I'm surprised. I I really thought that Dodger would just go for the Panya play, but I guess Egg spooked uh, Dodger enough, so he grabs back the curse. Finally gets the cursory glance off the Whisperwood's Exploration. So now, like, that takes out Egg's last out, which is top deck Endless Helpless Souls, and then get into turn two burn spells. So yeah, it just swings out here for uh, nine damage. I don't know whether it's admirable uh, that Egg hasn't conceded here yet, or if it's just kind of, oh man. I guess he's hoping for that last draw, and that's not it. Yeah, Cognitive Fumigator does not actually, in fact, win you the game here. Now let's see, is Egg gonna go out like a is Egg gonna go out like a true hero and uh, mana confluence plus sack palace of reflections to kill themselves? These are the important questions that you have to ask when on commentary, of course. Yeah, this is one when you can get a moral victory over your opponent like that, that's actually that, that's a two O. Yeah, that, that's huge. Like you just you basically like you essentially win the war because you shake their mental up so much that then like going into the future matches they're like, Man, I mean, I won, but, like, I got styled on. Like, where's my confidence? And then th that's when... But can he you see the line? Yeah, that's when you you win your next four matches and then your opponent loses their next four. So you actually, you mind game them out of top eight. Really. It's an advanced technique used only by the best players. Okay, Egg has another Cognitive Fumigator in Grave and has a Source DK. But, no again, none of that saves. So I'm wondering what... Maybe Egg is talking to Dodger in VC. Highly likely. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Oh, okay, yeah. And Egg drawing a bunch of cards shows, yeah, definitely conceding right there. And goes another uh, eight cards deep in order to find, uh, seven cards deeper to find the second Endless Helpless Souls copy. Yeah, that 
that rift splicing uh, play was actually insanely clutch for Dodger. Yeah, that actually won the game instantly. Which is crazy, because I think Root Splicing is a removal spell that has not seen much play. But, yeah. Okay. And in the Battle of the Meme decks, Dodger's Holcomb list wins out, though it only draws a single card off its, uh, I guess, titular and uh, main deck building constraint causing card. So, the Really, it's I just... suppose Dodger has proved once and for all that Hearthstone is actually the better game than Magic the Gathering. True. They... We're actually going to be uh, renaming ourselves to uh, HSEM, Hearthstone Set Editor Modern, coming to a Discord server near you. But yeah, whew. I think that was a crazy game. But in the end, I think Dodger just managed to cleanly outvalue Egg at every turn, with Egg's only card advantage engine being Endless Helpless Souls. And I guess technically Parrot Pools, but Parrot Pools was, again, just too slow. Um, which sounds like a crazy thing to say until you realize that you need to cast at least three spells off of it to really start drawing cards. And Dodger has a lot of ways to mitigate uh, those tokens. So, do you have any other thoughts on this matchup uh, and the specific games we just saw played? Not particularly... Uh, Egg might have been a little heavy on burn in construction, but you know, twenty twenty hindsight and all that. Yeah, and I think that like it, it is an aggro deck, so I think that that is fair. And I think the, it's just the fact that it was forced to play into a, a more interactive style of deck here. Like it was forced to be interactive because of how high value Dodger's threats were. But yeah, as soon as you go down that interactive route, just Dodger overwhelmed and outvalued. But yeah, uh, until next time. Uh, this is Dodger, or not Dodger, Jesus, this is Dr. Batman and Caillou signing off of commentary. And, you know, I think See this, you later, everybody. Yeah, this is an appropriate last image to leave everyone on to represent the chaos and memes that was this game. Ne- yeah, hope, guys, don't worry. Next time we'll be back with an actual, factual, real match of, uh, this was actually, I don't know how these guys slipped into the venue. This was not an actual match of a uh, Grand Prix Toledo. Uh, we'll be getting yeah, security. Someone to call security. Get these jokers out of here. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. Good night.